morning students hope you are all doing fine staying at home happy and healthy the lesson in chemical reactions and equations the first video i have sent you i have introduced you the chemical reaction and how to balance a chemical equation and all in the second video you must have observed the different types of chemical reactions that take place hope the video you found is informative and in this video third video of this lesson i am going to practically show you some of the chemical reactions so these reactions we can do easily in the laboratory such type of four reactions i just show you the first one is what is the chemical reaction so for this i am taking the magnesium wire this is the magnesium we have learnt the magnesium wire when burnt it just reacts with the oxygen in the atmosphere and it forms the magnesium oxide so that i am going to show you practically i have taken a piece of this magnesium wire then i burn and i show it to you it takes a little time for this to burn please observe carefully children even when you happen to do it in the lab the same thing happens now it burns and it completely gets heated up it starts burn then i will tell you what the reaction takes place in this within a few seconds it just burns and leaving a white powder just see this observe it carefully Yes. Children, you observe this. The magnesium is burning. They are burning with a daily flame, white color flame, and then it just leaves the white powder. You can see this is nothing but magnesium oxide. Magnesium burns with a daily flame by the reaction with oxygen in the atmosphere, forming magnesium. oxide this is the example for your chemical reaction next i will show you one chemical reaction isn't it the next reaction is the combination reaction here i take a little amount of calcium oxide children you can see this in this container you can see the calcium oxide isn't it these are all salts children these are all salts so the in this combination reaction calcium oxide calcium oxide this reacts with oxygen in the atmosphere calcium oxide reacts with oxygen to form calcium hydroxide what is formed calcium hydroxide so it is combination calcium oxide is combining with oxygen to form calcium hydroxide so calcium oxide is called as quicklime and the uh, here the uh, solution formed is the slake lime calcium hydroxide cooh twice so this is called as quick slake lime so this slake lime is used to whitewash the walls so a single product calcium oxide 
and oxygen in the atmosphere. These two combine to form a single product that is calcium hydroxide. I told you slate line which is used to whitewash the walls. So during this reaction, an enormous amount of heat is also released. So now for touch, I can see that this a beaker is warm. It is getting warm. So what is this reaction, children? This is combination reaction. Reaction is displacement reaction. Displacement reaction. For this, I have taken this copper sulfate crystals. These are copper sulfate crystals. So I added this to a little amount of water in the beaker. So now I made copper sulfate solution. This is copper sulfate solution because this reaction to take place at least it requires 10 to 15 minutes. Just a 10 minutes before I prepared the solution and in this I have to put an iron nail. This is the normal iron nail. This is iron nail. I put a nail in this. So see you can see the brown color layer is formed on this nail. This nail I dipped into this copper sulfate solution, brown color. It is nothing but the copper sulfate, isn't it? Copper displaced, that means iron. Here what is formed? Iron and copper, isn't it? So this copper displaces the iron. That's why it is formed as a brown color layer on it. This is nothing but displacement reaction. So one, isn't it? That means the uh, salt is just displaced by other salt. So this is displacement reaction. Okay children. Now what happens is this copper sulfate solution when the ions are exchanged what happens is this slowly fades out. That means it loses its color and that is formed as a layer on this iron nail. So this is the nail after dipping into this copper sulfate solution and this is the normal nail. So this is what reaction children? This is displacement reaction. And is double displacement reaction. What is it? Double displacement reaction. Here, a two compounds, how they exchange their ions, I will show you, isn't it? Now I am taking, isn't it? This is sodium sulfate. What is this salt children? This salt is sodium sulfate, isn't it? I have taken in one test tube. In another test tube, I am taking a little amount of barium chloride. What is it? Barium chloride. So here you can see barium chloride and sodium sulfate. Okay? These two. So I am taking this and a little amount, 3 ml of water I am adding to it. 3 ml of water I am adding to it. Since to make a solution, I am just doing it. But children, these salts are harmless. These salts are harmless. That's why I am shaking the test tube. Isn't it to prepare the solution? But all the salts are not harmless. That is the reason why you are not supposed to touch. These salts are quite harmless. So that we can touch. So we say sodium sulfate and barium chloride. Here what happens is, see you can see one solution is thicker and one is thin. You can see easily. And now I will add this to a little I take and add this to for the combination reaction to take place. A little amount of sodium sulfate and barium chloride I am adding, isn't it? You see, wonderful, this is called as precipitate. It is very thick to see, this is the precipitate form. What happens is, sodium sulfate and barium chloride, they exchange their ions, chloride ions and sulfate. So what is formed is, barium sulfate and sodium chloride. This is nothing but barium sulfate, this is called as what? Precipitate. A thick solution is formed. This is called as precipitate. So precipitate will not dissolve in water. So this one along with the sodium chloride. You know no sodium chloride is a salt, common salt we use. So barium sulfate this is. This precipitate is barium sulfate and sodium chloride is also present in this. This is what? These two compounds exchanging their ions. This is called as what? Double displacement reaction. So one salt is displaced by the other. So this is a double displacement reaction and the here the solution formed is the precipitate. The thick solution is precipitate. Precipitate will not dissolve in 
water. So children, now I have shown you what is the chemical reaction and three types of chemical reactions I have practically done and I have shown you. So in this video, I hope you all enjoyed all this, isn't it? You must have seen all the experiments which I have uh, done in before you, isn't it? And here, along with this video, I am sending you the notes for this lesson and at the same time, one project is also given to you. So this project, you have to observe the chemical reactions that are taking place around you. So one day you go to the kitchen, when your mother is cooking, you just check what are the raw materials which are put for cooking and how they transform, what is the change taking place. And when you eat food, the digestion takes place, that is also a chemical reaction. So all these chemical reactions, at least 10 to 15 chemical reactions that are happening around you. You please make a note and write about it. I give you in detail in this video also. So children, thank you.